Hey oh boys and welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Link to the Past Super Metroid Combo Randomizer. We're just gonna finish this now, as it's time. So I would suggest getting out your fire rod, making sure you're fully healed up, and at least maybe have a blue potion or two. Unless you're jacked up on power like I am, but whatever, it doesn't hurt. Like other pl pulmonate land... what? Gastropods, the majority of land slugs have two pairs of feelers or tentacles on their head. Okay. Actually, no, wait, I would suggest getting out this, whipping it out, and then start wailing on Ganon. He's a super easy fight if you have any kind of power. Especially if you get behind him like that. Right, after enough damage, he'll start summoning fire bats. You'll see that in just a second. Turns it starts out as little fireballs, but then they turn into fire bats. But that doesn't matter. You're going to die. I'm not even worried about getting damaged either. Alright, once you've done enough damage, I need to fill back up. I don't care, I have two more. Get out your fire rod. Every time you hit him, he's going to stomp the ground. Do not miss, because if you do, he's going to summon fire bats that'll home in on you. Just try to follow him and stay close. And boop! Ah, he's booping the floor away. Come on, boy, play nice. I just want to get this done now. Did you find the arrows in Brinstar? Well, at least he's nice enough to tell you where the silver arrows are. All the torches were supposed to go out, but boop, we got a free hit. It's one of three. Alright, get these back out, because he's going to play darkness with us. That's two. Guess what, buddy? Get torched. Oh, you're not dead? You're supposed to die on command. I right, run! I didn't think we'd make it. Oh, there we go. And get torched. We're having barbecued pig tonight. So what happens if you beat this one first? I've never done that before. Let's find out what happens. That's it. Can we refight the boss? Yeah, you can fight him infinitely, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, we are done here on my side of the adventure. My adventure is complete. Yay, everything's been peacefully restored. Lovely. I was trying to turbo to hurry up. Now, I'm going to meet you guys back in Samus's world. Hi. Her name is Samus. She's rather underpowered for where we're about to go, but whatever. The game is perfectly beatable right now, so yeah, let's get to it. Let's end this LP once and for all with a short little episode. Whee! Do I care about 100%? No. Should you? Not a chance. Should I avoid filling up on super missiles? Maybe. Will I? Nope. Because I'm ballsy. Alrighty. With all the bosses dead, we can head into Torian. Which, thankfully, we don't have to wait out the statue animation. Alrighty, if you don't have Ice Beam, we're going to show you the interesting way to play this place. We're going to play Samus Plays with the Metroids. She's going to play with them, feed them, and then put them to sleep. See, like a good pet owner. So let's play Let Him Latch On To Samus. Give Samus a hug. Come here. You know you'll want some of that. All the Metroids want some of that. Come here, baby. Get yourself some power suit. Gonna take three of these to kill them, by the way. I suggest screw attacking after setting a power bomb down and until you can set one down. Or you'll just take massive amounts of damage. And they're dead. See how easy that was? Just gotta do that a few more times, kids. Oh, let's play Dodge Troid. 
See if we can avoid getting grabbed this time. Woo! Boom. <laughs> Only did it in the previous hallway, because that would just take forever if I didn't. Boop. Come here. Boop. We're gonna pick up our kids from school, take them home, and then feed them. Finally. Now, thankfully, screw attack stops all damage for some reason. Thankfully, it does. One moment. Sorry about that. My brother was coming in. Alright, where were we? Oh, yeah, we were dancing with the Troids. So, once they're dead, there's one more room with these fools. All these buttheads. So, I'll bring him in nice close for a group photo. Ah, uh, come here. Oh, he's gonna be a bad boy. I was going to try to lure him down here so they would get stuck and I could just do this over and over. Whatever. It worked for the most part. And that's it. That's the end of the Metroids. Only took 12 power bombs. Sadly, there's one other Metroid we can't quite deal with, though. Let's move the mouse out of the way. Because once we hit left, the camera locks in place, so we're not allowed to leave. But we can wall jump off of solid air. This air is actually a solid, don't you know? Not a gas. It's the Super Metroid from the start. Well, technically no, because you didn't get to see him. Oh no, we're gonna die if we don't hurry up and get out. Run, Samus, run. Ah, uh, uh, dead. Alright, let's dig our way out and go get our stuff filled back up. Because the Metro didn't play very nice. Gave Samus the good suck. The big suck, actually. Borderlands 3 references. Alright, if you need missiles, missiles. If you need health, health. Thank you. Yeah, for some reason the Super Metroid breaks the health alarm. Sometimes. I'm pretty sure you guys are glad about that. I'm gonna get out my missiles, and we're gonna save our super missiles. Alright, we have one final eye door. Now, because we're doing this one second, we're not gonna get to keep our bountiful prize from the brain herself. Now, if you decide to beat this one first and still want to go for 100%, I would suggest, actually, beating this one first. Because you'll get to keep the weapon you get from Mother Brain here. But we're not doing that, now are we? Doing things differently. Ah, curses. Alright, let's go take her out. Come on. There we go. One more thing to get through. I know you can clip through these, but I've never been able to do the trick. Plus, you need Ice Beam, and we don't have that. Now, do we? So, we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. Brute force. But now that Mother's brain is dead, we'll find out that that's actually a lie, and she's really still alive. Who would have thunk? Yeah, it's obvious if you've been around the internet for more than five days. Okay, maybe not that little. But yeah, she doesn't die. She goes into her final form. Dragon Ball Z style. Let's just plug away at her with our charge beam. Should still do the trick. If you have tons of super missiles left over, I'd suggest using those. Because you'll pump out more DPS faster than the charge shot will do. We don't have many of those, do we? Oh, let's use them. Why not? We wasting our munitions. Ah, that did a full tank of damage. No biggie. We still have many more to go. Samus don't care. Well, let's take a bunch of unnecessary damage. 
I'm gonna take off our gravity suit. Well, Varia, actually, because that's the check this does for the hyper beam. <laughs> so after those weeks worth of tanks, put back on your Varia suit. Just take the damage you need to, you know, get knocked back down. Now don't stay on the ground, because we're going to glitch the... Actually, let's just do that. I don't want to break the game. And risk freezing shit. Hey, we get to watch the long cutscene that I'm going to fast forward through. Big Metro gives her the good suck. She returns the favor by killing him. And that's the end of that. How dare you give me the good suck. That's harassment. So we're going to make her taste the power of friendship. Because rainbows are friendship beams. Obligatory ponies. For your viewing displeasure. Yeah, lag, lag, scream, scream, just die. And she's turning red, she's almost fully cooked. Cooked to perfection. We're having roast mother brain tonight. Barbecue achieved. We're having pigs, we're having a pig in a blanket, and we're also having mother brains. Ah, never mind, we overcooked her. Bug off. You've been burnt to a crisp. Alright, the place is going to go boom boom, so if we don't hurry up, leave. So let's get out as fast as we can. Let's get those Samus feats moving. And then that'll end this randomizer funness. It was a ride, guys, and I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Oh, I should wait for my thoughts like that until we get out of this place. I only have three minutes, and then we all die at the end. If I die, then there's no more Let's Play goodness of anything. But this is Samus who dies. But if she dies, the LP will never get completed. And then no more Let's Play goodness. Right, you can either take the platforms or wall jump out like a pro. Did all that flawlessly about the end there. And boom, and shoot up hell of a lot faster than taking the normal route. Now, I'm not sure if it's possible to beat this in under a minute while saving the animals, and yes, we're saving the animals. We're not bad people. Besides, fusion needs to be canon. Samus will die. What do I mean by that? Go watch my Metroid Fusion LP to find out. It's good, I promise. Alrighty, shoot the wall. And then leave, because they'll escape. Or you can sit around and let them thank you. It's your choice. As long as they're saved, that's all that matters. Alright, you can either Alcatraz it or take the normal way, because the bomb blocks are suddenly removed. Thank goodness. Alrighty, Samus, run. The sky is very purple and angry. It's flashing yellow, don't you know? That means bad things. Now, if you beat Link to the Past first, the countdown timer would stop when you reach the surface. But, since we did it second, Zeb goes boom. Everyone died at the end. But hey, the mission's complete at least. I'm just kidding. If she died, there wouldn't be a fourth game. The randomizer was completed successfully. Clear time, 1 hour 38 minutes. God, this was a short LP, guys. Oh, those are different. And so are the music for the credits. This is new. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, because I did enjoy making it. Who knew we'd get you know, Star Fox music and the Samus side of things. For Link to the Past, it's just the normal credits, I think, that have been edited. Yeah, credits for the people. Which is cool. 
You guys can give this shot a shot yourself, and if you want to play the same seed I did, just in the seed box, type capital S and then P Y R O Spyro. That's the seed I typed in, and this is what I got. And it, no, it wasn't random. If you type in Spyro, you'll always get the same seed if you use the same key keyword. That was fun. Took a long time though, but I'm sure you guys loved it. Anyways, I have my ideas for what I'm going to do next for an LP. And there may be another vote soon in the future, just stay tuned for that. For now, this one is done, and we'll take a small break from Let's Plays. Here's our stats. 390 door tradition, transitions, 19 minutes in doors, time aligning doors, 43 seconds? Whatever. Shows our total time. And everything. Shots and ammo fired, 54 charge shots, special beam attacks, nothing. 380 missiles used, 247 super missiles, 200 power bombs, and 74 bombs used. Alright, our link to the past stats. First sword, took us an hour, Jesus. Pegasus boots, flute, mirror. Boss kills swordless, none. Two with the fighter sword, which is our first. Three with the master, five with the tempered, and one with the gold. Yeah, it's fun seeing our sets bonks. I don't know what those are. Save and quits, ten. No deaths. And one fairy revive. Jeez, four hours in Link to the Past? Two hours in Super Metroid. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next Let's Play. I don't think you can end this, by the way, so... So, thank you guys for watching. You enjoy your week, and I'll see you next Let's Play.